the long arm of the law possibly overreaching. I have decided to open a special government investigation to examine in depth the violations of Israeli citizens' rights during the period in question. Israel's government is scrambling for a response after more revelations about police illegally spying on citizens in the biggest alleged breach of privacy in national history. Members of the government, the Justice Department and the police will be made to testify, regardless of who they are or how senior their position. Since 2014, advanced hacking tools were reportedly used to spy on dissidents, journalists, activists, lawyers, judges, witnesses, a whole slew of people, most of them not suspected of any crimes. When the accusations first surfaced last week, police denied any bugging had occurred without due process, only to walk back that claim after just a few days. But the last report showed the alleged hacking was far more extensive than first reported. Legal experts say that if found to have occurred, the police actions violated every protection of privacy on the books in Israel, opening the police up to a tide of potential civil lawsuits. Sue them in a civil court of bridging, uh, bridging their privacy. The, the thing is that the, the facts are not very clear. You know, if you want to to uh, uh, claim about something, you have to, do, to know that something really happened. Evidence is hard to get, though. Police supposedly planted spyware developed by Israeli cyber firm NSO Group on the phone of everyone they wanted to without a warrant. And that spyware leaves virtually no digital trace. So knowing and proving you were a target is nearly impossible. NSO went viral in June when international investigative reporters found its tools were used by human rights abusers around the world to spy on their people and political opponents. At the time, the firm promised better oversight of its cyber weapons. Any customer that doesn't follow what's in the contract and we find out about it, whether through the media, whether through whistleblowers that we have a whistleblower site, we we'll investigate and if it's determined that there has been a misuse, there are consequences. But now, who watches the watchman in Israel itself? which prides itself on being the only democracy in the Middle East and whose police are using the same tools and methods as despots worldwide. We don't want to live in a country that the police can do whatever she likes. We want to, to live in a country that uh, uh, things are in order, a court give information to the police to do what she wants to do, what she needs to do. The accusations have shaken trust in Israeli institutions. Israel has privacy protections written into the country's basic law. Spying done without a warrant, court order, or any oversight at all could undermine the basic liberties of every Israeli in the country. And if the report is proven true, the police will have a hard time regaining the public's trust.